Hi everybody, in today's video, I am so excited. This is a topic that is very near and dear to my heart. It's a video I have been wanting to film and talk about with you for a while. Life's gotten in the way, but here I finally am. Um, and today we're going to be talking about POC owned polish brands that are also POC shopping friendly. So basically, um, in case you didn't know, POC means people of color. <laughs> um, and I'm talking about brands that are owned by people of color. And I'm talking about brands that make people of colors shopping experiences easy and to me what that basically means is they have a variety of skin tones for swatchers um you can get on their instagram page and see a variety of skin tones wearing their polish um if you go to shop on their website they have um swatches of polishes on people of color and that for me basically makes my shopping experience easier and i feel like for me being friendly means that it's more than just let me scroll back and scroll back and scroll back and find, you know, one brown person. To me, it's like, are they there? Are they included? Are they shown um, and represented equally to lighter skinned swatchers? So I've been trying out some new brands for you guys. I've been doing some research for you guys. Um, and basically, this are the brands that I feel are doing a really good job of helping POC women find beauty products that work for them. I've told you guys in the past, I am huge on representation of women of color and people of color in um, beauty, the beauty industry. Um, for me, growing up, um, I never really saw people that looked like me in beauty ads, in magazines, on TV shows. Um, how I look, you know, my darker skin, my darker hair, uh, speaking with an accent all of that has not been shown as a beauty standard um and i feel like it's starting to change but i feel like it could get way 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 better and i feel like we're in 2020 and there really literally is no excuse for brands to not be inclusive at this point there's plenty of um women of color swatchers there's men swatchers men of color swatchers that are extremely talented that are taking beautiful photos doing beautiful reviews have beautiful hands have beautiful nails are doing beautiful manicures that they could reach out to to be more inclusive um representation matters representation matters because um there's kids watching number one i told you guys i have younger nieces um and some of my nieces are half black and half Hispanic. Um, I have other nieces that are just Hispanic and I want them to see people that look like them and know that it is okay for them to look the way that they look and be able to feel beautiful, be able to feel included, be able to feel like they belong. Um, there's kids watching. Another reason um, that representation matters is because um, if you want my $12.50 or my $13, like that's what we're paying for indies these days, even if you want my $5 or $10, um, I shouldn't have to guess how a polish is going to look on me. I just, I shouldn't. I feel like a lot of us people of color in the nail world have really catered to brands that have not catered to us. And, you know, if it's not something that bothers you, that's fine, I understand. But for me, it's like, if you want my hard-earned twelve fifty, which is a lot of money for a bottle of nail polish, um, make my life a little bit easier. Show me how the polish is going to look on me. I've told you guys I have a hard time shopping for nudes and neutrals. Um, I have a hard time with some of the, um, like, mustardy colors and greens and even, like, peaches. Sometimes something will pop really bright off a lighter skin tone swatcher and then I put it on and it's completely washed out. It looks nothing like what I thought it was going to look like because it's my skin tone pulls out like some neutralness in it to where it looks a little bit more um, neutral than I wanted or sometimes um, I just don't get what I'm expecting because I don't get to see what it looks like on myself. I know that for me, if you're like my skin tone or you're into those deeper skin tones, um, it's hard. It's hard to shop for any kind of beauty products. It just is. Brands are getting better, but I feel like there's so much further to go. And I feel like if this is something we really, really want and is really important to us, we need to start putting our money and supporting the brands that are doing it. 
Like, what good is it for me to complain about it and talk about it and say I wished this and this and this and I wish for that and that and that and then I still throw my money to brands who don't do it. What's the incentive for them to change? There is no incentive for them to change. So with this video, I just want to show you guys some polished brands that you may not have heard of. One, um, showcase some women of color that are doing amazing things um, and help you guys find some polished brands that I feel cater to you and your shopping experience so um if you are not a person of color there's the polish is great too so stick around for that i'm talking about brands that i've tried brands that i really enjoy brands with good formulas um brands that i swatch for so please please stick around um even if you are not a person of color and and listen to me talk about some really great nail polish so let's get into the polish The first polish brand I want to talk about is a newer to me brand. Um, so this is going to be MJ Lacquers. Um, I did a live swatch and um, kind of chit chatted about this polish with you guys after I made my first order. Um, the owner, Janet, uh, is a total sweetheart. I had some um, ordering issues. I had gotten a gift card. The gift card didn't work and she just went above and beyond to make me happy. Um, she sent in an extra polish to like kind of apologize for the gift card issue. Um, I paid for the polish. She did a reimbursement. It was super easy. Um, she was like way on top of it as soon as I emailed like I had an email back immediately. Um, so excellent, excellent customer service from Janet. Most of the swatches she uses are um, POC, which is amazing. Um, she uses my friend Catalina from Gotta Love Polish. She uses my friend Ebony from Crazy for Nails. Um, Sheila from Variety Varnish is a swatcher for her. Monica from Manny Centric is a swatcher for her. Miss Thompson swatches for her. Um, I'll link down also on the bottom some POC um, YouTubers that I really enjoy. Um, I just listed off a bunch of them of her swatchers. But um, I'll link that down for you guys as well in case you're looking for POC polish reviews and you want to see how polish looks on you. Um, you can pick from a variety of skin tones from the girls I'm going to post down below. So, so that is one thing I love, love, love about her brand. You can find a variety of skin tones from light all the way to very deep to see how these polishes are going to look on you. I think that's amazing. Um, and then a couple of polishes that I got from her that I really enjoyed, I'm going to talk about now. So this is called Mauve Rose. Um, this is a cream polish. Uh, this is part of her like core cream collection. This has a great formula. It has a really beautiful shimmer to it that gives the polish some pretty glow. Um, I really enjoy this type of like purpley pink. Um, and I thought this was a really, really great polish. Um, this polish is called Courage. Um, and it's sort of like a flaky holographic disco ball glitter bomb. Um, I really, really loved this. So I watched Miss Thompson's review of this collection that Courage was in and oh my gosh, Miss Thompson made this look totally amazing. I was completely sold. I had to have it and it did not disappoint. Um, and then we also have here Stronger Together. So I really liked this. It's a like um, faded denim blue flaky bomb polish. Great formula, three coats to get opaque. Um, I had several other ones that I picked up. I enjoyed everything, um, but these were like three um, that I really, really enjoyed. And another thing I want to talk about is price point. So her creams are $8.50, which is an amazing price for creams. Um, and then her um, other finishes, holographic, flakies, all of that are $10.50. That's an amazing value for an indie polish. Um, I think if you were looking at some other brands for something like this with a ton of flaky or something like this with a ton of flaky and hollow, you're going to be looking at like $13, $12.50, $13. So I enjoy the price point. She has a lot of um, sales, like when new collections launch, she usually does a sale, which I think is nice. And the new stuff is included in the sale and she always has some really uplifting names um in her collections i feel like everything is very positive it's very positive vibes um which i think everybody needs right now especially with everything going on i feel like you need it all the time but especially now with everything going on like this is called stronger together that was the name of the collection that this came in this is called courage so she had a random acts of kindness collection which i thought was really cool and then she has her new collection called let the good vibes flow so everything is very like positivity focused which i think is amazing a lot of positive names a lot of positive um 
affirmations, things like that, which I think is super, super cool. Um, so that is the first brand. Again, this was called MJ Lacquer. Um, and the owner of this is Janet. Um, so I will link MJ Lacquer's Instagram and website down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing from them. Um, a very, very POC a friendly brand to shop with. Next brand is another new to me brand. This is Double Dutches. Um, I just recently swatched for them and their new um, summer collection that launched. Double Dutches is owned by two adorable girls. They are the CEOs. I need to show you a picture because they're just too, too cute. Um, so these are the adorable CEOs of Double Dutches. Um, So these are the adorable CEOs of Double Dutch's um, nail lacquer. <laughs> super, super cute. So these polishes are scented, which I think is so cool. Um, they have amazing formulas. They have a bubblegum scent when the polish dries. Um, and I really enjoy the scent. I don't think it's like over sweet. It lasts for like maybe a day, maybe a little bit longer. Um, the scent is to die for. I love the packaging on this. These cute little Dutch tulips. Um, formula is amazing. Um, both of these apply like a dream. Two coats to get opaque. Um, they have a lot of just really fun, adorable colors, which I like. You guys know I'm a sucker for these like really bright things. I'm excited to see what they come out with going forward um, for different seasons. So after their first launch, they did sell out and the polishes will be restocking August 1st, which is Saturday. So if you are interested, head over there Saturday, see what's back in stock for them. These polishes are also non-toxic, vegan and cruelty free. So if that's something that is appealing to you, do know that you do have that with this brand, which I think is amazing. The polishes are 10 dollars and um i really liked the formula and i really like the brush i want to show you the brush um it's sort of like a wider um brush but it has like a nice little curve to fit into your cuticle line i hardly had any cleanup with these polishes um i do not have a live swatch to show you guys of these um hopefully i'll get around to that at some point in time but i do have swatch pictures and you just have to take my word for it that application is like a buttery smooth it's so so good um, i feel like the instagram is very inclusive um i feel like their website is also inclusive you can see the polishes um not on different skin tones per polish but you can see that they are, have different skin tones um promoting the polishes which i like that is the next brand again this was double dutches and i will link all of their information down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing when they restock on august 1st uh so this is a brand that i have been familiar with for a while this is people of color beauty the founder of people color beauty is jacqueline um she is super sweet her and i have um talked quite a bit about a lot of the issues that are kind of going on now that you're seeing now about representation um in the beauty industry about um women of color being showcased um her and i have a lot of similar views on those things and basically um this polish collection she made specifically with women of color in mind so you know anyone can enjoy the polish it's gorgeous polish it's beautiful polish um has great formulas i everything i have tried from people of color beauty the formula is impeccable but she makes colors that specifically work well with darker skin tones which i appreciate she came out with a whole nude collection um in the fall and like i told you guys nudes are hard for me every single polish in the nude collection that she um came out with looked amazing on me and had a great formula so if you are my skin tone or darker um and you have been on the hunt for a perfect nude i highly highly recommend people of color the nudes collection um you will not be disappointed i feel like all of her regular collections as well um just look amazing on me um she really knows what colors stand out against deeper skin tones what colors pop against deeper skin tones what colors flatter deeper skin tones um and i appreciate that i really do i, I feel like she's taking her experience as a woman of color and her experience of being underrepresented and just making what she wants this is what I've wanted for all this time and no one's gonna cater to me, so I'm gonna cater to myself. And I really, really um, admire that about her. I feel like, um, I wish more of us were doing that. I really do. I wish that that was something that I had thought of on my own. Like, this is what I want. Let me just go out and create it, you know? Um, it's very bold and it's very, um, 
it's very bold of her and i just feel like it's very what we need going forward um i follow a lot of people um on instagram and a lot of artists and a lot of creators and a lot of um just women of color and there is a lot of women out there like pushing for our cultures pushing for our um pushing for our people pushing for acceptance pushing for um justice and equality and it's really inspiring to see it really really is and it makes me want to see like what can i do more of to you know help my people push my people forward um all of that stuff and so i feel like jacqueline is is doing that for her people and she's doing it for us women of color and it's just really really beautiful uh, i mean i just i really admire her for it so um so if you go on the people of color instagram page she has so many skin tones represented and it is like in the forefront um it's not like oh let me look and see if i can find somebody that looks like me it's you know it's just in your face there's women of color they're in the forefront they're showcasing their beauty jacqueline is appreciating their beauty and i appreciate her for it um i'm just going to show you a little quick little snippet here of her instagram um and you can see what i'm talking about there's like tons of skin tones represented from light um to medium to dark um beautiful colors uh, just it's beautiful i i love it i love I love what she's doing. I really, really do. I've talked about it in several videos, how I just, I love what this brand stands for. Her website is the same. Um, tons of skin tones, lots of people represented. You feel like it's something that you can enjoy. You feel like it's something that's made for you. You feel like she has taken you into consideration. Um, you feel like she wants to make you happy. She wants to make you feel accepted and beautiful. And every time I wear her polish, I feel those things. I really do. So um, if you have not tried People of Color Beauty, I really, really wish that you would. I think that this is the kind of brand that we need to put our support behind and rally around. And other brands can see like, this is what people want, you know, let's cater to these people. Um, this brand has been featured in Essence magazine, which I think is super exciting. So if you go to her website and you go to the about section, um, if you go to the about section of her website, there's something here that says POC salons. If you click on that, she has a list of salons that are POC owned that carry her people of color beauty products, which I think is really cool as well. It's just a women working together, women supporting women, women of color supporting women of color. Like I said, I love this brand. I love what she stands for. I love what she represents. And let's talk about some of my favorite colors from um, people of color beauty. So first one is Mother of Earth. Um, I am not usually drawn to browns or neutrals. I am more of a, you know, brights person. You guys know that, brights and bling. When I swatched her nude collection for her and I put this pol polish on, like I literally almost died or I did die. I put it on and it was so flattering, number one. So flattering, so sexy, so vampy, amazing, amazing formula. Like one to two coats just went on like butter. Um, if you have not tried this type of color and you are my skin tone, you need to try it. I was blown away, like so blown away. I could not stop staring at my nails. Um, I, I couldn't. I will actually link my um, the news collection review on this because I feel like it's just to me it was like the nude collection that just opened my eyes because nudes are hard and i i feel like a lot of other companies nudes cater to lighter skin tones and when you find someone who knows what looks good on darker skin um it's magic so this polish was magic um my other favorite from that collection was pink sand um oh you guys this polish was per perfection perfection um i will share with you the swatch picture of this because it's so so good i really really thought that this was the most flattering polish on my skin tone ever um it was and usually i think nudes are boring but i don't think either one of these are boring by any stretch of the imagination um this still had like the fun factor and the sexiness factor and um 
and this is like one of the polishes i want to marry um if you guys watch my channel you know that there's polishes i want to marry this is one of them um and the other one is going to be from the polish brand and um we're just gonna have like a sister wife situation going on um and live happily ever after but if you're looking for a perfect nude and you guys are my skin tone um or even a little darker check this one out i think you will love it formula is practically a one coater it's amazing um i can't say enough good things about this polish love 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 if you want to know more um that review will be down below and these two polishes are from her newer summer collection um you guys so she made a collection called for the culture which playing homage to black culture in america this is a around the way girl this is inspired by the ll cool j song around the way girl love it um you guys just look at this color it's perfect formula was perfect two coats to get opaque um it's like sort of a chartreuse lime green with some shimmer these are probably sold out but they are going to be restocked on um, both of these polishes so so good super super flattering again if you're my skin tone or darker you're gonna love it go on her instagram page she shows it on a bunch of different skin tones um from light all the way to super super deep um and it looks good on everybody and the next one is soul glow which is based off um soul glow from coming to america in case you guys haven't seen that movie with eddie murphy um but this is really beautiful i feel like this is perfect for summer and fall it's a gorgeous like orange terracotta um when i put this on i was blown away i was completely obsessed with how this looked um on me i plan to wear it as a pedicure soon because i just think it's it's gonna pop um a great formula practically a one coater i think on shorter nails you could get away with one coat one to two coats though they go on like a butter amazing um people of color beauty check them out um, next brand I want to talk about is a newer to me polish brand as well. This is Dimension Nails. Um, they had a sale a while back for like 40% off. I picked up four polishes. I've only tried two, but I really, really like them. I'm wearing one right now on my nails. And in case you guys didn't notice, I went square. Tell me what you think. I had a break. Um, this nail broke and it broke in a square shape. And I was like, are the nail gods trying to tell me something? So I decided to go square and um, I am enjoying it. And I'm enjoying this color. Mentions Nails owner is Stephanie. Um, all of these polishes are vegan and cruelty free. Um, they're also 10 free. And the owner, Stephanie, is vegan. So... That is something that is very important to her if it is something that is important to you know that these polishes um are vegan and cruelty free all of the polishes are um like earth and animal themed which i think is really really cool um all of her collections are like named after different um ecosystems and then the polishes are named after animals that live in those ecosystems so i think it's super cool um if you guys go to her website i feel like it's really cool it has a lot of like animal photos landscape photos um if you're like very into um nature and like learning about different animals and different landscapes i feel like this this is a really cool thing like to combine polish with that um she showcases a lot of different skin tones on her instagram page so i do want to show you guys that um you can see here she has you know she has light skin she has very dark skin there's my your girl v um in between skin tones um everybody's represented which is nice like you know you can go on there and you can be like hey i see someone that looks like me so she has a really cool mission too she says we aim to add new dimensions in the nail industry by incorporating health conscious 10 free formulas a love for animals through our products and providing education and veganism with activism at the core um so if you go to her website you can see what i'm talking about these are her new collections here um the african savannah um and then if you click on that the polishes are named after animals that live in the african savannah so she has like african lion then you click on that um and she shows you a picture of the polish um you see it swatched and then you get to see the animal i think it's super cool um i thought that was like a really cool thing about it the polishes are 12.50 for the regular polishes she also has gel polishes which i think are eight $18 something like that if you're into gel um and it says here they're 100 percent vegan cruelty free certified by PETA leaping bunny and logical harmony um and they're 10 free five percent of all her sales 
go to animal charities shelters and sanctuaries which i think is super cool too um if you guys are you know very into animals who doesn't like animals everybody likes animals um and then she also has a vegan blog on her site. So if veganism is something you're interested in, you are vegan, you're considering veganism, um, she has a blog there that you can check out. So um, on my nails right now, I am wearing Arabian Camel. Um, I like that she has a lot of creams that are just weird. When you have so much polish, sometimes you just want something that's weird. And it's beautiful, but it's weird. <laughs> I was wondering how this was going to look on my skin tone, and I love it, you guys. I love it. I cannot stop staring at my nails. I feel like it's sort of neutral and nude, but then it's interesting, too. Um, so this one, again, was Arabian Camel. It had an amazing formula. Um, I do like her brush. I don't think it's, like, necessarily super wide like I like, but it's not super thin, either. Um, it is not fluffy but it works really well i didn't have a lot of cleanup with this i thought it went on really really smooth um so that's a fun one um i also picked up during the sale amazonian manatee which is sort of like a foresty green um i picked up a polish called emu look how cute this is um so i wear this as a pedicure and i really enjoyed it i think i want to wear this as a manicure because i think it looks really really fun like flattering kind of nude but a little bit fun um and then this is called owl butterfly so sort of um a little bit on the grandma spectrum but a little bit more brown perfect for fall again just kind of weird kind of interesting um and just really fun i like her packaging i think it's cool um you get how many how many ounces do you get um her bottles are 13.3 milliliters um and i just i think everything looks really fun um i like that it has a little bunny on the front <laughs> i don't know if you can see it but her bottles have this cute little bunny which i think is adorable um and overall i like that she's you know, it's polished with a cause. Polished for a cause, which is really, really cool. Um, I like the layout of everything. I think it's fun. I like that it incorporates ecosystems and animals, and she donates to animals. Um, just a really cool thing. And the polish is really, really good. And she is inclusive. So all amazing things. Um, I will link all the information for Dimension Nails down below in case you guys are interested in ordering from this brand. Um, this is a newer to me brand as well. This is 786 Cosmetics. Um, all the polishes come in this really beautiful packaging. Look at this beautiful box. Usually I throw my boxes away right away, but like this box is so pretty. I just, I can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> um, so this brand really caters to ladies that are Muslim, which I think is amazing. I feel like that is super underrepresented in the beauty industry as well. This is called a breathable nail polish. Um, this is vegan. It's cruelty free. Um, and then it's also, I'm going to butcher this, halal certified. Um, so I didn't know what that was. I was actually talking to my friend V from Your Girl V. And she knew what that meant. So um, basically what that means is when um, Muslim people are in prayer, they have to be um, cleansed while they're in prayer and i guess if you wear a nail polish um your your nails aren't clean because the water can't get through to cleanse your nail beds well this polish um is breathable so the water is able to get through and you can wear it while you are in prayer and you're still considered clean so i think that's really cool really interesting something i had no idea about so thank you v for educating me on that um these are 10 milliliter bottles um and they have some really fun colors. All of the colors are named after places around the world. Um, this polish is called Nizwa. And um, if you go on the website, let me show you the Instagram page first because I feel like the Instagram page is just so inclusive. Um, you can see all the skin tones represented here. It doesn't take a ton of scrolling to see different skin tones. Um, here's another shot you know there's like super dark there's light there's you know medium um they show women with their head wraps i don't know what those are called i'm horrible i'm horrible um 
I don't know much about the Muslim religion, but um, they show women with their heads covered, you know, their head coverings, their head scarves. Um, there's people here showing the polish with their henna painting. Super, super inclusive brand. Um, you can find just about any kind of thing you're looking for representation wise on their Instagram page, which is amazing. Um, and then if you go to their website, um, like I was saying, the polishes are named after places around the world. So their website says Hal Halal Nail Polish Inspired by the World Travel With Us. So that's really, really cool. Um, and then they have something here that says like explore a new city. So you can click there. And um, so they have a polish here called Japur. And um, you click on it. I love this shade, by the way. Um, you can see it swatched on. Um, you can see it swatched on someone darker. You can see it swatched on someone lighter, um, which is awesome. These polishes are $12.95 each. They have sales every so often. Follow them on Instagram. Um, and then when you read the description of the polish, so let me find Nizwa so that I can kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Um, so when you click on the polish, this says Nizwa. It says Nizwa is inspired by the beautiful fragrant rose gardens of Oman's Jabal Akhadar or Green Mountain, which is located in the city of Nizwa. Every spring, these gardens are filled with vibrant pink roses that are transformed into the famous Omani rose water. The rose water is used for celebratory, culinary, or me medicinal purposes. Nizwa is best described as a bold bubblegum pink shade. And you can see it on someone that's sort of my skin tone, a little bit tan. You can see it on someone super dark. Um, so I like how it kind of tells you about a city. You get some information on it. It's sort of educational. Very similar to Dimensions Nails. I feel like um, you're learning something and you're shopping for polish, which is cool. Um, uh, they also have a cause as well. So let me read you a little bit about this. We support refugees. 786 Cosmetics will be donating 20% of profits towards the organizations below to combat the difficulties brought on by COVID-19. These below organizations are working to help refugees around the world. Refugees face a heightened risk of COVID-19 due to more densely populated conditions, struggle to get access to even soap and water, and are even just struggling to get their hands on a meal. To support these organizations directly and to learn more about their causes, please click on the links below that will take you to their website. So that is on the Our Cause um, portion of their website in case you guys are interested. Um, and they have their organizations here that they donate 20% of the polish sales to. Um, so that's super, super awesome. You can go down and read more about the different causes. They have Islamic Relief USA, the International Rescue Committee, UNHCR, and UNRWA. So again, like Polish with the Cause, which is amazing. Um, I feel like this brand really, really caters to the Muslim community, which is awesome. I feel like that is a community that is extremely underrepresented in the beauty industry altogether. And they just have a ton of diversity. Um, in their advertising in their website on their instagram page like it's very welcoming it's very inclusive it's very um it's just amazing i feel like like everybody's welcome um so let me talk about these polishes um again this one was called nizwa the formula on this you guys is so so good every single 786 polish um that i tried was amazing they sent me over maybe like nine polishes to swatch um and they're really really cool i love the brush on these i hardly had any cleanup on any of the polish applications the formulas are just really buttery the polish stays where you put it um i was really really impressed with this brand um I like the packaging. I like the, you know, like lettering. I love the boxes they come in. Um, I just really enjoyed this brand as a whole. They were super, super um, nice and friendly when they reached out for swatching. Uh, very accommodating. Um, this polish is called Valencia. Um, look at this orange. So pretty. Uh, great formula on this one as well. 
And if you want to see more swatches, I have them um, on my Instagram page. You can scroll back and look through them. Um, or you can also look on their Instagram page to see these on other people. And then this is Japur. Um, This is so pretty, you guys. This is like the most flattering um, pinky grandma shade ever. Amazing formula. Um, so they have something for everybody. And I really, really like the cause. I like the inclusion. I really like how they are catering to... Um, the Muslim community with their polish. So super great brand, super great polish and amazing cause. So I will link everything for 786 down below in case you guys are interested. Next brand I want to talk about is a bigger brand. Um, a lot of you guys I'm sure have polishes from this brand, have heard of this brand, um, but Cert Colors. I heard of Cert Colors, Annie is a person, is a woman of color. Um, and they are just really inclusive brand as far as their Instagram page, advertising, website. Um, I really, really have enjoyed Cert Colors for a long time. I know the price point is a little bit high, you guys. I get it. I wish I had more Cert Colors too. The price does hold me back sometimes. But sometimes they're really worth the splurge. I actually picked up the whole Cirque Vice collection from this year. And the ones I've tried so far I love. Um, and then I just want to show you this little graphic here. Um, they released some information on their like staffing breakdown and basically like do the people that they employ fall under people of color categories. Um, so they have a family of 11 and um, they have one black person working for them, eight non-black POCs and three white people working for them. 73% female identifying, 27% male identifying, 54% first generation Americans and 36% second generation Americans. So that's a very diverse um, workforce, which I think is amazing. They have made donations to um, the Black Lives Matter movement, which is really cool. They did like a customer match and sent sent money over to black lives matter um and then let me just kind of show you their their instagram feed i feel like you see a lot of skin colors represented here darker a little bit more mid-tone um you know lighter skin tones everybody feels welcome which i think is really really cool um if you're going to shop on their website you can see the polishes on um Again, a variety of skin tones, darker, mid, light, which I appreciate. Um, really, really awesome. Also do a lot of charity polishes, which I which I like. Um, they'll make a polish and then they either donate all of the proceeds or some of the proceeds to a variety of um, different charities and organizations, which I think is amazing. Um, and then these are some of the polishes I have from them that I really enjoy. So first polish is Halcyon. Um, you guys, this polish was like a game changer for me. When this came out, I had to have it. I didn't care how much it cost. I was like, take all my money, start colors. Um, I need it. It's so beautiful. I've only worn it once. I don't even know why, but it's so good. It's like a very beautiful metallic -y foil um, rose gold. Super, super pretty on the nails. Um, I do think this is still available. I don't know. This is so old. It actually has their old logo on it. <laughs> they changed their bottle look since then. As a gift one year, my husband bought me the whole Vice collection um, and I got Electric Daisy. And you guys, this is so good. Look at just how bright this is. Has a great formula, three coats to get opaque. Like this is like a glow stick on the nail. So, so good. Um, an amazing, amazing neon. Um, so this was limited edition. It came back last year. Keep an eye out for Vice Collections if you want this. Sometimes they'll bring back old stuff and then you can catch it. So that's a really good one. And then this was also brought back last year. Um, I missed it the first time around, but this is game over. This was part of last year's Vice Collection. You can see the new packaging and how it looks compared to the old packaging. Um, but this was so good too. This is a neon red polish two to three coats to get opaque amazing on the nails perfect on a darker skin tone um great great formula so um again i will link all the information for cert colors down below in case you guys have never heard of cert colors or purchased from cert colors um they are very amazing and very inclusive indie brand so and last brand I want to share with you is going to be Colorista Carol. Um, I recently started swatching for them and the owner Carolina is Latina um, and she's very, very sweet. Um, I really enjoy their polishes. I feel like she has a 
variety of skin tones for swatching she also swatches polishes herself in case you guys did not know she's an amazing swatcher um again if you go on her instagram you can see polishes on a variety of skin tones you have very dark here um there's me with the mid-tone there's a lighter you know lighter mid-tones um on her website she does a really good job of showing you the polishes on a variety of skin tones so here it is on someone lighter um you can click over and see it on someone darker uh, here I am with my more mid skin tone. Um, so I really appreciate when brands do that. Like usually what you get is you get like a ton of light skin tone swatches, maybe like three or four different light skin toned people. Then you either get like a really dark skin tone or, and nobody in between, or you get someone like me and nobody super dark. Um, so I like that she has like a nice range of skin tones and a nice range of, um, pictures for you to decide like do I like the way that this looks on me um so um she also speaks Spanish so if you guys have like questions and you speak Spanish and you prefer speaking in Spanish you could always message her in Spanish um get customer service in Spanish which I think is amazing um and she has a lot of really fun polishes you guys I love the formulas on her polishes um let me show you some stuff I swatched for her recently um this is called beach mood this is, this is from her summer um sun kissed collection this is a gorgeous neon pink with some really beautiful shimmer um the formulas on all of these were amazing here's another one from the collection called tantastic and then also um pardon my drench i really enjoyed these um this also came with a beautiful topper in the collection called silver spoon um she does some amazing Crowleys. This is from her new summer Crowley collection, um, the Splashy Town collection. This is called Rio Salvaje, which is really beautiful. And then she also has Kitty Cove, which is really fun. Um, I feel like Carolina and I have very similar polish tastes. Like when she makes collections, I literally feel like she makes them with me in mind. Like she's like, oh, Josephine would like this. I know that's not what she does, but like, um, her taste and my taste are just very similar um so i always usually love everything she puts out great formulas um her polishes are 11.50 which i think is a great price point um she always allows you to buy like a polish bundle and save money that way so um i just think she's a very poc friendly brand to purchase um i feel like she's very poc friendly with her swatching i feel like her instagram page is very inclusive um and so I really, really enjoy her brand. If you want to shop from Colores de Carol's website, you can always use my code Polish Talk for 10% off your order. I don't make any money off that code. It's just a thank you um, from Catalina to you guys for ordering. Um, um, and I will have my code information down below as well as Colores de Carol's information down below in case you guys are interested in checking it out and you've never tried her brand before. So those are my picks for POC owned polish brands that are also POC shopper friendly um i feel like there are a lot of brands that are not poc owned that are also poc shopper friendly but that's not what this video was about um i may do that video um in the future going forward but um for right now i just really wanted to highlight person of color owned brands um show my support for people of color and also show my support for, for brands that make it easy for me to shop um I'm being very selective with where I'm spending my money. Um, if brands are not catering to my skin tone, then I'm really holding my money back. Um, I feel like it's not that hard in 2020 to have representation. And I feel like if brands really wanted to be inclusive, they could be. There are so many wonderful people of color swatchers out there um, that are doing amazing things. And... There's no reason why a brand can't reach out and get themselves a POC swatcher or two on their team to really help us out. You know, they want our money, but they don't want to help us out. So I'm being very selective. I'm holding my money very tight um, and paying a lot of attention because I feel like I said I've complained about this in the past and my complaining is not going to get me anywhere. What I need to do is put my money where my mouth is and support the people that are doing what I want, right? If I keep supporting the people that aren't doing what I want, how do they know there's a problem? And I'm sure me holding back my $12 isn't hurting anybody, but um, I feel like if all of us kind of got into this thing where we were supporting the people of color with our people of color money, um, things might change. So if you have any people of color 
owned brands that I had didn't mention that you don't think I know about, list them in the comments down below. If you know of any POC friendly shopping, you know, brands that are POC friendly to shop, link them in the comments down below. And again, um, if you guys are not POC and you stuck through this whole long video, thank you guys so much. One way that you guys can show support is to purchase from brands that are POC friendly as well. I know that this isn't an issue that affects you if you're lighter skinned because I mean, the world is made for you. <laughs> I I know that that sounds kind of, you know, don't take offense to that, but really like you can look in beauty ads and see yourself. You can look and polish Instagrams and see yourself. You can buy lipstick based on a picture and know what it's going to look like on you. When, you know, you've never had to think about that and that has not been your issue, I can see how you're like, what's the big deal? But really, there's tons of women out there that this is a big deal for. And if you want to show support and you want to help us out, like support brands that support us, put money there so that people realize like this is a good thing and it's something that people want. Um, so anyway, that was a really long rant. I'm wearing a new lipstick that I'm in love with and I just want to talk about it with you guys. Um, so this is from Revlon and it's a Wonder Woman um, packaged lipstick and it's called Strike First and I am obsessed with it. It's sort of red but kind of orange. It's a cream formula and I love it. So if you guys, the mask thing is really hurting my lipstick game. The other day I was getting out of my car and I put some lipstick on and I was like, why are you doing this? So I took it off so I can put my mask on. That way I don't get lipstick all over my mask. Um, I'm a lipstick girl and it's really, really affecting me to not wear lipstick because of my mask. Um, but if you guys are able to wear lipstick, I really, really like this. Um, the packaging is super cool. Um, the Revlon is in gold. There's the Wonder Woman here. It's a very girl power packaging. Um, mm, look at that. So pretty. I'm really, really smooth, really hydrating, um, really buttery. So I just saw this at Walmart. I just picked it up. I got another color from this Wonder Woman packaged collection, but I haven't tried it yet. So anyway, that's what I have on my lips. And that is it for this video. If you guys liked it, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thanks you guys for watching. I will see you on the next video. I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.